For the longest time, I never thought I would do a video on a photometric ammonia instrument. Yet, here I am with Palantest's Ammonia Duo in the palm of my hand. The Ammonia Duo is Palantest's answer to the call for a compact instrument that measures ammonia and ammonium in any water. Whether you find yourself in drinking water, wastewater, or dealing with environmental samples, this little instrument handles it all, regardless of whether you're in the lab or the field. The body of the instrument is constructed from a rugged plastic and features a simple four-button interface, power on and off, a list scroll button, a blanking button, and a sample button. The Ammonia Duo features a large backlit display, and the whole device is IP67 certified, so if you want to take it swimming, be our guest. It's powered by two AA batteries, easily changed when the rear door is removed, and the instrument maintains the 10 most recent samples, maintaining the blank until either turned off or reset. The measuring system utilizes a dual LED source and direct reading colorometer, giving way to quite a range of measurement. Depending on which version you order, Palantest includes a range of accessories to let you get down to business immediately. All of the core accessories and reagents are included. As the name might imply, the Palantest Ammonia Duo offers two methods of analysis, the Nessler method and the Indophenol method. I'm going to use the Indophenol method for this example. First, take a clean cuvette, rinse it, and fill it to the 10 milliliter mark. Cap the cuvette, and then wipe it down with a clean, lint-free, non-abrasive cloth. Insert it into the instrument, power it on, and scroll through the menu to find the appropriate test. In this case, we're going to do the Indophenol 1N method. Press the left blanking button. and the instrument is now ready to measure. Take the cuvette out of the instrument, and add one ammonia number one tablet, also known as AP152. Also add one ammonia number two tablet, also known as AP153, to the cuvette. Crush and stir this as well. And make sure that they are completely dissolved. Cap the cuvette and let it sit for 10 minutes to develop color. When the color is finished developing, make sure that you wipe off the outside of the cuvette just to make sure that there's no fingerprints on there. Tilt it side to side to remove any air bubbles and insert it back into the instrument. Make sure that the Indophenol 1N test method is still selected and use the right test button to take a sample. And as you can see here, the result is displayed in milligrams per liter. Well, it's that simple. If you liked the video, make sure to give us that awesome thumbs up and subscribe. If you thought it was lousy, well, give it the thumbs down and let us know why it sucks. If you have any questions, head over to our website here or comment down below. And if you'd like to request a video, let us know and we'll make it happen.